everybody, XP Games and Elk here, and welcome to a new Fire Emblem Builder tutorial. Today, I'm doing a, um, a video about a topic that uh, I have seen requested a lot. There's been uh, a lot of feedback from that in the Discord server, XP's Castle as well. Uh, we're going to look at magic animations and how to implement them today. Um, this topic can be quite tricky. Um, because it requires uh, a patch to be installed uh, when you have a vanilla Fire Emblem 8 ROM the magic animations are not immediately ready to go so uh, you'll have to do some steps first in order to allow for um, yeah for you to implement magic animations I will mention that um, magic animations they work a little bit differently than they would if you were making, for an example, uh, or it, um, if you were importing a, um, like, if you were importing a custom battle animation, like, say, we went to, let me quickly get a battle animation here. So let's say I wanted to implement or insert, like, this knight animation or female paladin animation, whatever, into the ROM. Um, what will happen is uh, I just go to the place where that animation is stored in the ROM and say like I will export the animation and you can import it somewhere else or you just open up a new slot and import them there. There's the mannequin animation from last time is still here. But um, what I should mention is that doesn't go that easily for magic animations. Magic animations have to be manually um, formatted if you want to export a magic animation for uh, from like a Fire Emblem 7 ROM for an example if you want the loose animation and you want to have that in Fire Emblem 8 you will have to manually frame by frame copy that animation so that is a problem when it comes to magic animations but there's already a lot of existing ones which you can find in the repo as well and uh, there you'll be able to find some cool magic animations. The community has already translated some magic animations for you. So that you don't have to do it yourself. You can just insert them. And uh, that works with this handy dandy tutorial as well. Let's just take a deeper dive. So when we are at the main menu, you go to advanced editors. And this little menu will pop up now. Seeking magic. Uh, the magic extends, which is this one. Can be quite hard to find if you're not watching the video. Then you just type in magic, and when you do that, uh, a lot of interesting uh, e uh, like editors will show up. Uh, we are going to use this one, uh, this one, and this one. I do not know if we actually use these two, but specifically this one is the, the hardest step in my opinion. Basically what you have to do is you're going to press uh, magic extends, and then a window will pop up. It's this window, and... Um, it basically says, okay, uh, you can actually not add or remove any magic from uh, the base Fire Emblem 8 ROM without installing a patch. So vanilla Fire Emblem 8 doesn't allow for moving magic in and out. You need a patch for that. Now, the uh, FE Builder gives you two uh, recommendations for a patch. You have the first one, which is uh, Fediter Magic. CSA system is a magic system with a long track record and the second one CSA creator is a new magic system that supports higher resolutions it really doesn't matter that much which one you pick uh, I think that the latter one is kind of flashy so for this tutorial we're going to be using this one I do not know the differences between these patches but you'll have to select one in order to um, yeah, insert your own animation. So I'm going to select the second one, the flashy new one. And what will happen is a window will open, the patch window will open, and it will automatically... Oh, hey. Why can I not move this particular... Effie Builder... Okay, Effie Builder had a hard time implementing that. Um, I'm sure I want to... A lot of prompts will pop up. And now FE Builder will be loading. Uh, this process requires a little bit of loading, so don't worry. Uh, what it did, it, w it was it uh, went to patches up in the top. And what it did there, it was like, uh, when we go to, you can filter on installed patches. 
which makes the ROM load a little bit. Um, there we go. We have these two at the top. The FE Builder is a little bit lagging. Oh, never mind. But you have these two patches installed right now. And uh, that's cool. Uh, that basically means that we can now insert magic animations. Uh, you will actually notice that the ROM will take quite a bit to install the patch because it has to load a little bit. That doesn't matter too much. Don't worry about that too much. It's completely fine. So what we do now is now that we've done that, we go to Magic Extends. And what we have here, these slots. So this means that hexadecimal number up to 47, including 47, are all taken by the base Fire Emblem 8 ROM. But if you wish to insert new spells, you can do everything from hexadecimal number 48 up until FC, which is a lot of magic animations. And I guess like F, D, E, uh, and F, the last three, they are taken as well because, well, we're not able to insert anything. But as you can see, we have a lot of slots to implement animations. So what we're going to do now is um, we're going to implement a magic animation and I've selected one I'm going to import this one uh, there's a Bulganone animation for this and it's now loading it takes a while and boom now it's loaded and it, it seems like there's nothing here but if we just press frame you can see the animation right here and the cool thing about most of the animations that the community has made, like this Bulganon uh, animation, by the truly wonderful Mikey S uh, Saragon, this one also has sound effects. And you can even press the editor right here, and then a load prompt will pop up. And the window that opens is this window, where you can frame by frame, you can analyze the magic animation and you can even see that um, there is like a hit tone, uh, sound effects. So this one has four blades rising, which apparently isn't part of the standard FE8 ROM. So when you insert a magic animation, it might be that some of the magic or the sound effects are actually missing. Um, that could be a problem. I'd re uh, I'd recommend checking every single time you import a magic animation if the sound effects are all there. And if it's not, like right now, a sound effect that is uh, missing. Which one is it? Um, this one, like right here. Uh, I really like this animation. I also use it in the Prophecy of Flames and there's an error here. The error right, displayed right here just has something to do with the sound effect that is missing or not working correctly. Which is something we'll not go and figure out right now. Because right now it's only focused on doing magic stuff. So right now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the advanced editors once again. And we're going to go to magic animations. It would be so nice that we can get a magic animation for a specific item. So, as you can see, even some melee weapons actually have a map and fighting animation. That is because, like, Effie Builder wants this to be set for a lot of stuffs. Like, when you have a bow, for an example, or when you have a hand axe, uh, the game wants you to set, like, for a javelin, for an example, it wants you to set a javelin battle animation. Because every single, single attack that is ranged, they want you to set something for that. Just like this javelin, for an example, use short spear has that as well. Uh, hand axe has that. Where's the hand axe right here? Um, even the bows have that. Arrows. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to look for a fire tome right here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this fire animation to our new Bulganone animation, which is magic extends one. It doesn't have a name. I think you can change that because Effie Builder allows for so much, um, for a lot of uh, magic or a lot of customization. I think you're able to change the name. Um, I do not know. I don't think so, actually. Now that I 
look at this. There might be a way. I don't know that out of the back of my head, but there is a way probably. Uh, we're going to go back to this screen though. So right now the Fire Tome has the uh, Bugalone, Bugalone animation uh, for the map and fighting animation. So right now we do have Salin with a Fire Tome and if everything has gone correctly we should be able to um, yeah, to, to play the animation. So what I'll do is I'll quickly turn the music off. I put the emulator on mute so you cannot hear the uh, uh, audio. But right now you can. Um, and if we attack, we should be able to see the Bulganone animation. And the crit as well. And there we go. That's the Bulganone animation. So it has actually been successfully implemented into the ROM. We have a Fire Tome that can now use the Bulganone animation. I heavily recommend to you all to simply play around with the Magic Animator, uh, Magic Animations patch a little bit. Um, I've inserted the Magic Animation, uh, Magic Animation, the Bulganone Tome. Uh, you can insert a lot of different animations and even give them to some standard weapons. Do note though that if you decide to give a bow a light magic animation, like if I go back right here and I go to the uh, magic animations window, if I gave a steel bow uh, like the uh, fire animation for an example, what would happen is the bow would not fire an arrow. The point, the exact frame at which the archer would release the arrow when he's firing it, uh, the fire animation would play, so there would be no arrow. He would just shoot a fireball from a bow, which looks really wacky. Uh, just a thing to keep in mind. But that is basically everything there is to it. Everything that there is to know about a magic animation. Um, I hope you enjoyed. This was a very short but fun tutorial to make. Um, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to um, yeah, smash thumbs up button. Uh, subscribe for more content like this. Um, let me know what you want to see next on the channel. This is a tutorial I promised to do a long time ago and I finally got to making it. Uh, and yeah, that's actually everything there is to it. If you like this, once again, be sure to smash thumbs up button. And I will see you guys all next time. Goodbye!